Something that's freaked me out is I learned that there are legitimate advertisers who are sending redirects and malware, but they don't even know it. They don't know that they're causing harm to other people unintentionally. Can you talk about that a little bit? Sure. So this is definitely something we see on a daily basis. The problem is, is websites get hacked. They get compromised. People aren't auditing their code. They're not keeping up with the different flaws and security patches that are out there. Basically, any individual website has the potential to become compromised. And mainly, that's what we see from the large-scale DSPs. They're not the ones serving the cloaking, the redirects. It's simply their advertisers are just getting taken advantage of and getting compromised. So a company that has completely good intentions will be used by a bad company. They won't even know it, basically. That's exactly right. They, As long as they aren't paying extremely close attention to what's happening in all the different libraries that they're rendering on their site, they're never going to know that they're delivering a malicious attack. And I, I feel like a lot of the time with these companies, they have, they have other things to worry about because their focus isn't on the cybersecurity and the ad blocking and the bad ads. Those are all the things that will normally slip under the rug unless you have someone like TMT to kind of get on that for them. Correct. You got to have that dedicated support to look at all the different third-party code that's actually rendering on an end user who visits your site. Right. That's definitely very important. Yeah. And, you know, I feel like this hits smaller advertisers, mid and size and smaller advertisers a lot because a lot of times they'll outsource uh, landing page development and other web development. And perhaps uh, nobody's really paying attention to what's going on and doing the updates. And that's how they uh, they get hit with this. And also, I mean, there's so many open source libraries out there. That That's one of the main vectors of attack, right? Yes. The open source libraries 100% get taken advantage of. And a lot of times it's due to different security vulnerabilities that, like you were saying, if people aren't actually paying attention and patching all these flaws as they're identified, it just leaves the door open for a bad guy to go find which websites are still vulnerable. Okay, inject my code. All right. And that's why that's why you stop them, right? Because you're <laughs> you're Padman. <laughs> okay. All right. Crime fighting Padman, very nice.